Hello. If you're like me and you woke up on the morning of January 27th with your storage provider offline and you're not quite sure how to get it back online, you're in the right place. Hopefully you noticed if you're following our Discord announcements channel, which you should be as it's the best place to keep up with the happenings in the project, that we put out an SPD 1.7.2 update. This fixes the bug that happened overnight and all storage providers and other nodes on the network should be using this moving forward. This video will cover how to get updated and get back online no matter what your storage provider looks like. First up, if you're using a hardware examiner, like I am in this case, you should know that your storage provider will automatically update to using SPD 1.7.2 in the coming hours, if not already updated. All you have to do is be sure that this SPD is 1.7.2 and your supervisor and web versions should also match. This will put you on the latest software versions and be sure that you can also see your SPFB as they are received. Next up are full licenses. These ones do require a bit of intervention, but it's not difficult. You can visit the page on the recent hard fork for up-to-date links on how to update your specific type of provider. But today I'm going to give an example using Synology. On a Synology and Docker-based setup, you would proceed to open your Docker container You want to stop this container. I want to open FileStation and head to the directory provided to the Xminer full install at installation. I now want to head to config, spd, and I want to delete this spd file. With the container stopped, I now delete. I reopen Docker and I start the container again. After a moment, if you refresh this directory, SPD should repopulate, and it should repopulate using the latest 172 version. It's important to note that after your container is back up and running, it might need some time, even up to half an hour, to process the changes that have happened and get back online. The steps for Windows and Linux are also very similar. Be sure, when following that link, that it takes you to this section on the page, upgrading to a new SPD release. The steps here are essentially the same. You will stop the running container. You will head to the Xminer directory, find SPD, and then remove it, and then start the container again. This is also performed the same on Windows, where you will also need to make sure that you're under the right heading. All you have to do, step one, stop the container. Step two, find and then delete the SPD binary from within the Xminer's folder. And then step three, start the container again. Do keep in mind this also applies where it can take up to half an hour for your storage provider to become online again. Lastly, if you're on DIY Basic, this does have the most intervention as you might expect. For Linux and Windows, you'll need to go to the SC Prime software releases page and grab the command line daemon 172. You can download it in whatever format you need. Simply stop SPD from running, replace the old binary with the new 1721 and then try starting up again. Once again, this can take up to 30 minutes to get back online, but once you're on 172, you should be okay. Lastly, if you're running other software on our network, such as the web wallet, this will need to be updated as well. The current web wallet update is being prepared and will be released soon, but be sure that it's more than the current version 025. With your storage provider updated and the web wallet that you may be running also updated, that's all you need to do. Happy storage providing.